Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial by Zebra Code. In this tutorial, we are going to look at SML editing software. I mean, we'll be examining some SML editing tools. One can use any test editor to edit an SML document. You can use a test editor as basic as Notepad or test edit to write and edit SML. However, there are some advanced and professional SML test editors or Integrated Development Environments IDEs. They have some advanced features such as color coding, line numbers, additional plugins, syntax checker, formatters, autocomplete, and auto suggest features for SML. Some have SML validation features and they can be used for SML and SML related technologies. Many of these SML editing tools are open source and free to use. Some of them are proprietary tools. That is, you pay for the software to be able to use it. Sometimes the SML editing tool that you choose depends on you and what is available on your machine. You can also install additional tools on your machine. Now, let's look at some test editors and integrated development environments, IDEs, that you can use for your SML tasks or SML projects. Some of these SML authoring tools are free, some are not. For example, on your computer by default, if you are on Windows, Notepad will be installed. The Notepad test editor will come with your Windows installation by default. If you are on Mac or Linux, by default, you will have test edit. The test edit test editor will come with your machine by default. You can also download and install some of these test editors yourself. Here are some free test editors that you can use for SML. The Microsoft SML Notepad, the Code Browser, and the SML Pad. You can download and install them on your computer and use them free of charge. The Microsoft SML Notepad is free to use. Code Browser is a free SML editor. It is available on Windows and Linux operating systems. The SML Pad is a free SML editor. You can use it both on Windows and on Mac. Here are some free and open source integrated development environments, IDEs. Sublime Test, Notepad++, Visual Studio, could be Visual Studio 2019 or 2022 or any other version of Visual Studio. Then Visual Studio Code, NetBeans, Eclipse, CodeBlocks, Komodo Edit, and a lot more. There are so many other open source IDEs that you can use for your SML project. You can use them to edit and work on your SML projects. I use many of them myself. Of course, you cannot be using all of them, but at least some of them will be useful for your task. Many of them support other SML related technologies. That is, you can use them for both SML and SML related technologies. We will come to that later on in this series. Here are some proprietary SML editors. They are proprietary, that is, you pay for it to use it. The software is not free. For example, we have here Oxygen SML Editor, Liquid SML Studio IDE, Stylus Studio IDE, and many more. Once again, 
they are not free you need to pay for it to be able to use it the oxygen smr authoring tool is a professional smr editing ide it is not free you have to pay for it however it has a 30-day free trial version with full features and functionality it also has academic version later on on this course we will be using the oxygen sml editor the sml editing tool that you choose depends on you and what is available on your machine you can also install additional tools on your machine it also depends on what you want to do with sml for example on my machine i have many of these ides and tools installed on it let's look at some of them here i have some of the tools installed on my machine and they are open you can see them here this is notepad this is netbeans this is visual studio code this is notepad plus plus this is oxygen this is visual studio 2022 and i have many other tools installed on my machine of course you may not need all of these it depends on what you want to do but at least you can install some of them in my next videos we will be using some of these tools to perform some sml related tasks the purpose of this video was to show you some sml authoring tools that you can use for your sml task or sml projects thank you for watching if you have not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe to the channel and when you subscribe remember to click on the notification bell so that each time i post a new video youtube will notify you see you in my next video bye for now